promotional consideration paid for by the following. You can hear bells. That is indeed not the sound of Santa Claus, even though it is Christmas. It is in fact the sound of my wonderful Christmas cardigan. And it can only mean one thing, it is the December WrestleCrate unboxing. Right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. Look, it's all Christmassy with the lights and everything else and we have a new place to open wrestle crates on a regular basis and it is the orange chair hopefully that will become as much of a celebrity as the brown sofa on ashen's channel which i'd suggest you go and look at because he is great anyway enough of the promotion of other channels I want you to do all the YouTube stuff here because uh, you know we've got WrestleCrate we've got uh, all the other stuff that we go on the channel plus the gaming channel Cheap Shot Entertainment System and the movie review channel which are both gaining subscribers at a rate of knots which is great uh, anyway we've got WrestleCrate it's December 2020 what could be in December 2020, it's the year 2020, what do you think of ECW, of course? Because there is some extreme items in here that I'm actually really looking forward to. Incidentally, an announcement was made um, on the WrestleCrate UK social media that we would be getting an item from Kane the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee, in January's crate. So just as I was thinking about uh, not having any more of these, immediately I want January's crate. And that's exactly how they hook you in and how they get me to do more videos, which is great for you guys and also great for me because I get more stuff. But I do have a wardrobe full of t-shirts at this point in time. So. Uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Let's move that to the phone back. Let's turn that round so I know that you can still see what's going off. There we go. Beautiful. And the lights and everything else. Wonderful. Let's get those untangled. Look, it's all Christmassy and junk. Anyway, let's open the box. And here we go. Boom. Uh, that's a great UK. Also very useful for keeping hot chocolate reindeer in to deliver out to the great British public when you work in a food bank. So thank you very much Russell Crate for that one. Incidentally, speaking of boxes for food parcels, my mate Woody, who is also a Wrestle Crate UK subscriber, is an absolute legend because he managed to get me 14 food parcel boxes from his work at Lidl so again epic work there from Woody and from Lidl because you know got to give everybody the props and my dad for going to fetch them of course anyway uh, let's go dip in and see if we've got the first item it's usually a t-shirt but it's not this time it's the pin batch that's on top which is interesting so let's pull that out oh nice the theme room ECW Arena double bingo. Ah, oh, it's the bingo hall. Now we have the chase edition. I'm really disappointed with that every single time. I never ever get the chase edition. That is a cool pin. If you like pins, that is cool. Um, so, what else have we got? Oh, got a box. Um, it is the Heavy Crate Champion for December. It is Cara Noir, absolutely awesome independent wrestler. And it is a, another Heavy Crate Champion. So uh, let's see, let's see what we've got. Yep, that is pretty cool. Although it does look a bit like a vampire. That is fine, it's obviously based around the 
Swan Lake Swan. There we go. So he can go up on my shelf with all my other heavy crate champions and the yeah, it's missing all his, his sparkles from his cape and stuff. Well, they are sort of moulded on there, but yeah, it's decent. That all the all the heavy all the heavy crate champions are all very cool. Anyway, so we'll give them props for that one definitely. Chuck a box down there. And eventually, we'll get to the t-shirt because the t-shirt is usually on top. So. Um, See what else we've got here. Oh, we have a lanyard, a WrestleCrate lanyard. Now this may come in handy for a bunch of things. To be fair, um, thinking you know my Merlin pass, my new badge at work, maybe. Um, so that is pretty cool. That's going to come in very handy, I'm sure. So a lanyard, got lots of small items on top. And then we dip in to the t-shirt, which definitely looks very extreme. And it may just be the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, Sabu. Incidentally, Rob from Aspire was the tour manager for this very guy when he came to the UK, which is pretty cool. Um, so yes, I know the guy who was organising the tour for that. And uh, that is a pretty damn cool t-shirt. So we'll just rearrange here, because we've got some things that need to be put on top of the t-shirt. But yes, the Sabu t-shirt, very much a winner there. Because, you know, I'd never actually go out and buy a Sabu t-shirt. Um, but I'd get the extreme thing they did. And it was cool, man. You know, it was, was alright. I think at one point he really wanted to wrestle for Aspire, which would have been awesome. Uh, but ultimately I think he was a bit too expensive. What we got? OVD Best Of! So we've got a respect match of E D versus Sabu, a death match of E D versus Sabu, of E D versus Chris Jericho, of E D versus El Perito Riocano, of E D versus Shane Douglas, of E D versus Axel Rotten, and R V D versus Mike Myers. I mean Hack Myers, the very best of R V D. The early years. So Again, pretty damn cool to see that in there. The uh, I'm guessing they're three extreme items, so that is pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? A sticker from last month's crate, whoops, which is usually the t shirt design from the crate the month before, which is exactly what that is. I'll move these lights around actually. I can actually see more of the designs, of course. There we go, focus on Sabu's face, there we go. Pop that there, and there's more. I can feel it. Got a calendar in here. After months of asking, we have a calendar. We've got Kylie Ray signed print, um, signed uh, autographed thing. We got a t-shirt from her last month and a Pokemon inspired Kylie Ray print this month. Which is all very cool. More stuff in here. Wow, okay. Uh, Bloody November, that is, use wrestle crate code, HCW Hungary, the Hungarian wrestling. Again, lots of free subscriptions that 
I never want to start because I'll never actually. Oh, that's the thing on there. And the calendar. I think it'll be a Beyond Gorilla calendar, which we will have a quick shuffle at now. Cool, yeah. Like it. Come on, Eddie. Um, why do I not know who that is? You know all these. Um, of course, Corridor. I don't remember him with the sparkly makeup around his eyes, mind, so that must be uh, a different promotion. Orange Cassidy drowned in pink, which makes sense. Ah, yes. Giselle, uh, Giselle Shaw. Yep. Yeah. Not sure who the other one is, but I've definitely seen Giselle. Dragonoff. See Dragonoff. There we go. And again, not quite sure of that one. I'm sure there'll be a, a thing. Pack. That's a good picture. I like that. From a. Oh, Gangra Hell. From the point of view of a photographer. Very cool. Ah. Uh, Yes, Brian Cage. Who can stop the path of Cage? And Pete Dawn. The only, uh, only member of um, British strong style, strong, strong style that we don't have. Danny Luna, of course. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mad Kurt. The Rascals. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Need a new calendar, so that saves me some pennies. Is there anything else? And now I think that is your lot for the Christmas opening of this Wrestle Crate. So, let's have a look. Lots of lads with beers wearing the Cultaholic t shirt from last month. Carly Ray hand signed artwork. Sabu t shirt RVD early years DVD. Extreme Bingo Hall lapel pin. Beyond Gorilla 2021 calendar, Wrestle Crate Lanyard, uh, HCW Bloody November 10 download, Coronoir final figure, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, of course, Kane is in the January crate, so definitely looking forward to that one. Cultaholic thing on the back, there we go. And uh, Car Noir, same picture that's in the calendar on the front. So, um, yeah, actually they've they've pretty much pulled that out of the bag this month. I and mean, that is a pretty darn cool collection of Christmas goodies for 2020. So, we're going to roll on to 2021. That is your Christmas crate opening. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty darn good. Um, so we're going to go out on a... No we're not. Uh, I'm going to try and play Time to Play the Game on my uh, Christmas jumper. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Love the t-shirt. Um, the Heavy Crate Champions are always a winner with me anyway. DVD is cool. Uh, the Lanyard also very cool. Especially seeing that I'm starting a new job in January which should give me more time to do videos. Uh, the calendar is always awesome. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant selection boys for December 2020. I say we roll on to 2021 um, with Kane starting us off in 2021. So you've been watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. Hope you've enjoyed the unboxing video. If you want to head over to WrestleCrate and uh, tell them that uh, Cheap Shot, Luke at Cheap Shot sent you. I've uh, been in contact with them quite a bit recently. And um, yeah, get yourself a box of goodies. It starts from 11 99 plus delivery. And my crate comes out at about 27 I think, something like that. Um, because I get the bigger box and occasionally you get two t-shirts and you obviously get more items. You get the little box, you do still get the t-shirt mine, so I mean it's up to you. 
Um, obviously hard times, I would never suggest getting something like this over paying your bills or anything like that. But it's a nice little gift to yourself even if you only do it once a year at Christmas. Really cool, I'm really pleased with that. I'm ecstatic with that crate and they pulled it right out of the bag there. Anyway, you are the Cheap Shot Nation. I've been your host Luke. This has been the Wrestle Crate unboxing for 2020, uh, December 2020, and the last one for December 2020. So we'll see you in the new year. Merry Christmas to all. Wait, hold on, time to play the game. Did that sound like time to play the game? I don't know. Answer on the postcard. Or in the comments section, because you know it's 2020. And uh, yeah, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2021 for January's WrestleCrate Unboxing. Right here on Cheap Shine Entertainment. Goodbye.